We got company. Don't panic. I can use my power here. Hey, what did you do? I hit the monster with sacred light. It's imprisoned in a crystal, temporarily. Sacred light, huh. Curious? Yeah. I absorb energy flowing from the roots of the world tree, Yggdrasil, and convert it to light. That's some power. I guess you're not exactly your average princess. What's wrong? Looks like we'll need to fight it to purify it. Oh yeah, that worked real well. Weren't you listening? I said temporarily. Huh. Looks like there's something left. The body that held the enemy's psychic energy. It usually vanishes after the psychic energy is purified. So, what exactly did we just fight? Something not native to that body. Fighting it was the only way to reveal its true form. The psychic energy possesses the body and uses it as a sort of vessel. We will be encountering more of them ahead. Watch yourself. Sure. Alicia, you had better keep that in mind, too. Right. It's over there. A hidden underground passage built by Depan's royal family long ago. At the cost of countless lives. So this will take us all the way to Depan, huh? It seems that way. What do you mean, seems? Is there something you're not telling me? Don't, Don't tell, tell him. him. Are you listening to me? My Ein Herjar. Come now to fight alongside me for the sake of Midgard. You know of what I speak. Let me out too. I'll fight all you want. Same for me. I as well. Be silent. There will come a time when each of your powers are needed. I'll call for you. Until then, wait in here. Uh, I... 
I don't believe it. We should keep pushing on. So, anything you want to tell me? What exactly did you do back there? Who was that other guy? Materialization. The return of the Einherjar to their living forms through an object that contains their remnant thoughts. Einherjar? You're telling me that the souls of the Fallen Chosen for the War of the Gods, just float around here? No, they exist within me. Satisfied? Will he be coming along with us from now on? If I don't toughen his spirit, he won't be able to exist apart from me. This Einherjar once stood at my side, but his soul now deteriorates from the incomplete transmigration. But from the voices I hear inside, everyone sounds so alive. Even a ferocious beast feels insecure the first time outside of its cage. I must keep them at my side until they regain their strength of spirit. That is my duty as the chooser of souls. Help me honor it. <laughs>